Hi, this is Shannon, Realtor with Breck Living. Trying to predict the future of real estate home prices has many puzzle pieces. I wanted to share with you these four important pieces and how they're affecting our local market. The first one being purchasing power, mortgage availability, inventory on the market, and optimism about the future. Purchasing power, simply put, is the amount of home that you can afford to buy for the budget that you have available to spend. Sounds easy. As mortgage rates increase, the price of the house that you can afford will decrease if you plan to stay within that budget. Now, I know a lot of buyers out there were hoping that the way that their purchasing power would increase is that home value prices would decrease. However, in Summit County, we're seeing that the current selling on average is selling at 96.7 of list price. So working with a lender up front is going to make a huge difference in determining your purchase power and locking in a good rate. So the second is mortgage availability. When attending a local mortgage lender update from Jack Laurent of Movement Mortgage, he gave his expectations of lending in the near future. And here are some of the highlights. One, convention lending, anything under 625.5, will always be available. Two, virtually all economic indicators point towards continued low rates for the foreseeable future. And three, second home and investment property purchases are rate sensitive. Many outside the box lenders have slowed lending or even stopped lending. So the third puzzle piece is inventory on the market. And many savvy buyers are looking to see if homes are going to come on the market due to affordability issues arising after the loss of rental income. But here's an update on what rentals are looking like. In the winter season of November through April, many short-term rentals are looking at a loss of 20 to 30 percent of their winter revenue from our stay-at-home orders. Breckenridge overall is looking at a 50 percent downturn in tourism for the summer, May through October, according to Desta Metrics lodging data. We are now seeing more and more homeowners offering long-term options of 3, 6, and 12 months to get through this uncertain time, which is actually filling a huge gap we needed in our market. So our final piece is optimism, which I know sometimes can be a little hard these days. I wanted to bring a quote from Sam Cater, Vice President, Chief Economist, and Head of Freddie Mac's Economic and Housing Research Department. And he says, Although the uncertainty of the crisis means forecasts of economic activity are more unclear than usual, we expect that most of the economic damage from the virus will be contained to the first half of the year. And going forward, we should see a recovery starting in the second half of the year. So we are starting to see evidence of home buyers coming back after this small pause in our market and fall off in demand. Where is the most demand in the market? Most showings in the last months for home priced are between 300,000 and a million. So we all know there are a lot of things that are unknown right now. But what we do know, we know that we started this year stronger than ever. We're at a record low interest rate environment and equity is strong among homeowners. So I think as we look to the second half, housing is going to be a bright spot to help lead that way in recovery. Sellers are still positioning themselves to make moves this year. If you're thinking about putting your house on the market, let's connect today. There's a good chance there's an eager buyer looking for a home just like yours.